Hey, got a minute? I'll teach you a little bit about prompt engineering. So there's this paper, Large Language Models or Zero Shot Reasoners. This is also known as the Chain of Thought Reasoning Paper. In it, they do this thing called two-shot prompting. Because LLMs have read basically every math textbook, the term let's think step-by-step step usually precedes a breakdown of a how to solve a problem. LLMs reason based on the reasoning they've seen in the past. This is analogous to, but not the same as, the analytical phase in your brain where you're using the words part in your brain to do the problem solving and not the mysterious background problem solving process that happens in your hippocampus. When we ask ChatGPT to break the problem down, and then, based on having broken the problem down, extract the answer, it's easier to check in an automated data set. So there's all these data sets listed down here. They consist of a bunch of pre-written questions and answers so that you can test an LLM's reasoning capabilities. This table shows the performance on different tasks. You can see that there are several types of tasks. Single EQ is single equation. Add sub is addition subtraction. Multi-arithmetic consists of multi-stage arithmetic problems. Common sense tasks are different than math tasks. Things like how many horseshoes will I need for four horses requires you to understand that horses have four legs, and so this is what's known as common sense. It's really just a collection of facts about the world. Strategy is different. It requires coming up with an approach and that there may be multiple approaches. You can see the chain of thought reasoning is not helping so much with common sense tasks, largely because of things like computers not quite understanding how many legs a horse has. The next thing to come out was tree of thoughts. Normally when you just ask ChatGPT, you're doing input-output prompting. We just discussed chain of thought reasoning. Self-consistency with chain of thought involves doing three chains of thought. Once we got there, we came up with tree of thought. This is a little bit more like what you do when you're problem solving. First we could do this, oh no, but wait, we couldn't do that, we need to do a different thing, and then so on. The next step is like chosen from a list of possible steps. This allows us to arrive at a conclusion that is 70% more effective than other conclusions using these other methods. People have made engines that will help use ChatGPT and other LLMs more effectively. I have not used or reviewed this repo, so I'm not endorsing it, but there are repos out there, and this one has quite a few stars. The latest advancement is called Algorithm of Thoughts. Tree of Thoughts basically uses voting to figure out where we should go next. Algorithm of Thoughts puts all the different processes on the table and then orders them. Sometimes there are multiple paths to get to an answer.